Hello, my friends. Welcome to another story time with Dorothy Allen Memorial Library. I am Miss Jess. I'm one of the youth services librarians, and I am so happy to have you here today. We miss seeing everybody in the library, but I'm glad I still get to connect with you on here. So like we always like to start, I want to give everybody some magic story time. Listening best with my magic wand here. So everyone, lean in nice and closely, and I'll go ahead and give you some magic story time dust. Don't worry, fidgicles. That just means that it's working. Great job, my friends. I'll give myself some to make sure I'm listening today as well. All right. Well, welcome, welcome. I always like to start with our hello song so we know that we are ready for story time, right? So we're gonna sing our hello friend song with our American Sign Language signs. You ready? Count with me on the count of three. One, two, three. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends. It's time to say hello. Yeah, great job everybody. Now, how about we do, uh, I know, let's practice our opposites. Does that sound good? Okay, we're gonna sing Roly Poly. It goes to the tune of Brera Jaca and it's a great way for us to practice those opposites. You ready? Put your hands out just like this. Nice job, into two fists. And then we'll start rolling them one over the other. Can you try that with me? Nice job. And on the count of three, one, two, three. Rolly poly, rolly poly. Up, 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 up. Rolly, rolly poly, rolly, rolly poly. Down, 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 down. Down, roly poly, roly poly. Out, 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 out. Roly, roly poly, roly, roly poly. In, 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 in. in. Roly poly, roly poly. Fast, 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 fast. Rolly, rolly, poly, rolly, rolly, poly, slow, 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 slow. Yeah, great job, everybody. Well done. Okay, my friends, it's time for letter of the day. That's right. Let's see, I've got my mailbox here. Hmm. I've got an envelope in here, let's check it out. So, inside my envelope, I have different pictures. Each of these pictures starts with our letter of the day, and it's up to you to help me figure out what that letter is. Let's look, all right. First up, we have a, hmm, anybody know what this is? Looks like a pie. Yum, that's making me hungry. Next we have, hmm, <gasps> whoa, some p -p penguins. Oh man, they look so cute. Next up, something we might see around fall time. Anybody know what this is? Shout it out, what is this? A pumpkin, that's right, a p pumpkin. Hmm, what else do we have here? Ooh, something that you write with. Anybody know what this one is? Shout it out if you do. A pencil, yeah. All right, what else do we have here? Ooh, our last one. This one's making me hungry too. Anybody know what this is? That's it, a pizza. Oh my goodness, hmm. Let's see, can you think of what our letter of the day might be? We had a pumpkin, a pencil, a pizza, a pie, hmm, and some penguins, right? Papa, anybody know? Can you think of it? Hmm, shout it out if you have a guess. All right, let's look. It's the letter P. 
Great job, my friends. So today we have a nature themed story time, which means we are going to be reading a nature themed book. And I thought we would do a fun rhyme. So when I've been going out into nature lately, I have been seeing a lot of, what do you think? A lot of squirrels. Oh my goodness. So I've seen a lot of squirrels scurrying around, right? So I thought we could sing a song about a gray squirrel. Anybody know this song? Even if you don't, that's okay. And if you do, that's great, but I'll teach it to you. Ready? One, two, three. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Hold a nap between your toes, wrinkle up your little nose. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Did you do it? Good job. And you pretend you're swishing that tail, right? And then you reach down to your toes and then to your nose and you wrinkle it up. Now, Earth Day is coming up soon, which is why I chose this theme of nature today. And I have our book to read today, but you know what? I thought instead of reading it right here, we should go outside, right? So I am gonna take you up on a hike. You ready? Maybe you could go put on some hiking clothes, get ready to come with me on a nice hike outdoors. Let's go. Thank you so much for following me up here. We are up on Bristol Cliffs right now and I thought we could read a story. So today we're gonna to read Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt by Kate Messner. And we thank Chronicle Books for letting us read this today. Ready? Up in the garden, I stand and plan, my hands full of seeds and my head full of dreams. Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow. Wind whistles through last year's plants and mud sucks at my rain boots. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there, I ask. Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks, scoop rustly armfuls, and wheel away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. Down in the dirt, pill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight and hide in plated suits of armor, roly-poly round. Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in a careful row. Give them a drink, Nana says. We pat them down to snuggle in the dark. Down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm rests, waiting for wings and the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout, pea blossoms bloom, wasps are on the prowl, and honeybees visit, legs loaded with pollen. I weed and wilt in sun so strong, even Nana looks for shade. Down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep, unjealous of their cool, damp, dark. Up in the garden, rain shower, Nana turns the hose on me. Eee! I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, water soaks deep, roots drink it in, and a long-legged spider still walks over the streams. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. Nana crunches green beans. I bite a ripe tomato warm from the sun. 
Juice dribbles down my chin. Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, a grub. Slugs are scrumptious, too. Up in the garden, we pick cukes and zucchini, harvesting into the dark. That swoop the sunflowers, and I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. Up in the garden, a praying mantis waits to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the aphids, and I'm after grasshoppers, ready to swoosh, but... Snap! Someone else is faster. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake crunches on a sucker. Up in the garden, the wind grows cool. Pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers bow to September. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. Down in the dirt, a warm beaver spins her web, strand by silken strand. She'll munch on moths tonight. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines, and we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry, and harvest. There's enough for the neighbors, too. Down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for cooler days ahead. Up in the garden, frost draws lace over on leftover leaves where secret egg sacs hang, waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Down in the dirt, beetles burrow, ants scurry home, earthworms curl tight in the dark. When grandpa calls us in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. Up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble and the wind smells like winter. But the long, ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. The ladybugs and bumblebees, earthworms and ants are hunkered down, hiding, biding their time. Dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts, under the bare arms of trees and the blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps, down in the dirt. The end. Well, that was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for coming up with me to the Bristol Ledges and reading a story. I hope you had a nice time as well going outdoors. So why don't we end with some music with my friend, Miss Mabel, that's right. Hmm, what kind of instrument is Miss Mabel? Do you remember? What is she? That's right, a ukulele. And she has four strings. Let's count them as I play them. One, two, three, four. Four strings on Miss Mabel. Let's sing some songs. Everybody ready? You can get up and dance and sing along. This first one is called The Itsy Bitsy Spider. Let's go. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Nice job. Have you ever seen a spider outside? Maybe you just saw one on our hike together. I don't know. Hmm. Let's sing another song. How about the wheels on the bus? Raise your hand if you know this one. All right, then you can help me sing it. Ready? One, two, three. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. The doors on the bus go. Shut, open and shut, open and shut, the doors on the bus go open and shut, all through.
great job my friends thank you for dancing and singing along with miss mabel okay everyone let's do our goodbye rhyme so we have hands up high and then we give a big sigh and we say story time's over so what do we do we wave goodbye great job today everybody all right everyone that brings us to the end of our story time thank you so much for being here today i really appreciate it i know we can't see you right now in the library but that's why i love to be able to see you here instead so last time i had asked if anybody wanted to send in their superhero masks right so i did have some of my friends send some in and we get to see those pictures now so Thank you to Romeo, to Princess Pearl, and to June for sending those pictures in. And if you went outside today, since we're celebrating nature and Earth Day, maybe you found some cool things and you want to send those photos in. I'd love to see them. You can send those to jess at d-a-m-l-v-t dot org. And I'll make sure to include them in one of our upcoming story times. Well, that's it for now. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.